Is your red the same as my red? You look at a red apple, I look at a red apple. We both wonder why we're looking at red apples, but we probably agree that the apple is red. Then again, how do we know our experiences are actually the same? For a long time, the answer was, we don't know and we won't ever know. Philosophers called it qualia, and it was supposedly something that science can't test. But scientists just went and tested it. The idea that qualia are unmeasurable comes largely from the work of philosophers like Thomas Nagel and David Chalmers. In his famous essay, what is it like to be a bat? Nagel argued that there is something fundamentally inaccessible about another creature's subjective experience. Even if you knew everything about how a bat's brain works, you still wouldn't know what it's like to be a bat. That, according to Nagel, is the essence of qualia, the private subjective side of experience that can't be fully captured by physical descriptions. David Chalmers later expanded this idea with what he called the hard problem of consciousness, which is the idea that even if you understand all the physical processes in the brain, you still haven't explained why experience feels the way it does. This philosophical view made qualia seem almost mystical, cut off from scientific investigation. I've always thought this is bullshit. You can measure what's going on in the brain, therefore you can study what experience means in scientific terms. You cannot, of course, yourself experience the same as some other person or bat or carrot because you don't have the same brain. But give it some time and we can find the next closest approximation to someone else's experience that works on your circuits. And in a fascinating new study that just came out a few weeks ago, scientists say that it might actually be possible to measure qualia or at least compare them in a meaningful way. The authors of the new paper recruited 35 participants and showed them different colors while measuring their brain activity using fMRI. Their goal was to find out if the experience of specific colors, like red or blue, creates consistent patterns in the brain. They compared the brain signals across participants and indeed found similarities that match the perception of the same colors. This is the first First time scientists have objectively measured qualia, subjective experiences, by identifying neural signatures that are the same for different people seeing the same color. In other words, they demonstrated that your red is, at least structurally and approximately, likely indeed the same as my red. This experiment is part of a broader shift in how we think about consciousness and qualia. It's a move away from philosophy to something that can be scientifically measured, quantified and understood. For example, in another recent study, the neuroscientist Anil Seth and co-authors have proposed a mathematical framework for consciousness in general and qualia in particular. They propose that subjective experience comes from our brains trying to constantly make predictions about what it expects to perceive based on past experiences. Then it compares these predictions to the actual sensory input. When there's a difference, the brain updates its model to better match reality. In this description, qualia are the key elements of this predictive algorithm, those experiences that are particularly versatile at describing sensory input, like color, for example, or the orientation of your body standing upright or hanging upside down from a cave. Seth and his colleagues argue that if we understand how this prediction and correction process works, we might be able to map subjective experiences or qualia in the same way the recent study mapped color experiences. And it's not just academic curiosity. There's even an institute dedicated to this very question. It's called the Qualia Research Institute, and their goal is to create a precise mathematical framework for understanding subjective experience. They want to map the state space of consciousness, that is, they want to understand the landscape of experience.
Even philosophers are coming around to the idea that maybe, just maybe, subjective experiences aren't as uh, philosophical as they once thought. In fact, there's a new book called The Metaphysics of Color from two philosophers that make a surprising argument. Colors are real. We argue that there is no good reason to think that colors are less objective than, say, temperature. What does all of this mean? If these researchers are right, then we might be on the edge of a new way to understand how experience happens and eventually also how to create it. Because imagine how amazing it'd be if you could share experiences with other people or bats. I mean, who wouldn't want to know how it feels to breed a new human pandemic? To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and how to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their newly updated maths courses. No matter how abstract the topic seems, Brilliant's courses have intuitive visualizations that really click into my brain. And Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. Sounds good? I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.